You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. So it looks like uh, Robert Rodriguez is making a uh, a sorrow, but it's a female sorrow. You guys check this out. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, but they're making uh, Robert Rodriguez and his sister. I guess their studios are creating this like Soro, um, Soro show or something. It's a it's a show that was not by them. Um, hey, go go away, go away. Uh, and it reads: After uh, failing to greenlit on NBC in 2020. Uh, and the CW in 2022 already kind of gives you vibes, right? In the CW, filmmaker Robert Rodriguez' gender swap reimagination of classic vigilante sorrow has found a home on CBS. Wow, CBS, great, you know, it's a big studio. So it looks like uh, John uh, Haven, it's, uh, I think he's uh, the man who fell to worse. I think that's the newer show has joined the process, replacing the previous attached Santera and co-written alongside Robert Rodriguez, writer-director's sister, Rebecca Rodriguez. Now, I don't know too much about Rebecca's, uh, you know, writing and stuff, but just if you guys know, what else has she done? Let me know. Uh, CBS Studios and Propagate are behind the contemporary set project in which a young Latino woman discovers that her long-deceased father was the legendary hero, Soro. Now, she takes on this mass persona, defends the desperate citizens of her Austin, Texas community. Now, at least that part is a little bit interesting because you're taking... You take a Soro, which is originally, you know, in a Cal, it's a very California book, uh, you know, based on Joaquin Munet and all that kind of stuff. And you placed it in, in Houston now. So it's more a contemporary Austin. thing, I guess. Austin. Austin, uh, which is, which is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Think of the yeah, Austin is the San Francisco of Texas. So there you go. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so uh, in the Austin community, for the wealthy forces seeking to exploit them. Um, and supposedly this is who is attached, uh, Rodriguez, Ben Silverman, uh, uh, Rowdy Farrell, Howie, T. Owens, uh, G.F. Clark, Eric Brumer, mm -hmm. Jay Whistler, and John Gertz are all executive produced. Um, you know, and I, the one that I didn't know that there was a French Soros series. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. And that, that, that Valderrama still didn't give up on his Soros series. That's, that one's not going to happen. This iteration has been around Hollywood for like five, six years now of Robert Rodriguez and, and his sister trying to get this made. This is like the third studio now. It was at CW. It was somewhere else. And now CBS. So um, that's that's the story with this one trying to get made. You know, and they, they've titled it. The description is a Latinx female discovers she's a, a relative of Zorro and tries to save Austin. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So well, why is it in the trade? Maybe it's in the trade because the fact that CBS gave it a green light to, to shoot a, a, uh, a, uh, what do you call it? To the pilot. To the pilot. This is Queen of Swords. I love Queen and you guys Swords. can check it out on Tubi. It's, it's free. I think I you think know? there's even an episode or two here on YouTube as well. Oh, there's got to be. There's got to be. No, you know, it's, it's been it's, up. Yeah. Of, yeah, it's been up for a while. So I mean, great but, show. It's you know you got. I'm just saying, and mm -hmm. basically what I'm saying that I always say, we got female sorrows at home. That's right. <laughs>